Right, hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, what we're going to be doing is basically create a custom settings uh, a menu for the user. So, in this uh, settings, the, we're going to let the user choose the number that they want. For example, uh, with all the math questions that we had, it's only been numbers from 0 to 10. So, we're going to change that. We're going to let them say, hey, I want the lowest number to choose is 10, and I want the maximum number to be 100. That way, we, we can have questions such as, what is 67 plus 25 you know questions like that so let's go ahead and do that but before we do that uh, oh actually before you should before you watch this video I recommend that you watch uh, this guy's video so uh, I already mentioned this at the beginning of the series to watch uh, this guy's uh, Kiwi crash course it's pretty good and it's pretty straightforward so if you guys uh, watch this I think it will help you out help you out in this video if not well then uh, I won't be explaining that much in this video. I'll just briefly go over it. So if you're okay with that, then just you know, just watch. If not, then watch that guy's video, then this one to see how it does or whatever. Alrighty. So first off, what we're gonna do is create the a, a separate Python file that's gonna hold all the settings for the new for the new um, settings panel or whatever. All right. So first off, we're gonna create a new file. So let's just call it JSON settings json underscore settings dot pi so yes i want to create it and bam there we go so it has nothing obviously because it's a brand new file and the first thing we're going to do is import json there you go and what we're going to do is json dot settings um, equals json dot dumps and what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a list of dictionaries. So, all right. So, each dictionary is going to be a simple uh, attribute within the settings. So, for example, let's start. Um, so, each setting is going to have a type. So, this is going to be a type. It can either be, you know, Boolean, numeric, or things like that. For example, this entry is going to be numeric because obviously that's the, that's what we want we want the user to input a number so that's pretty straightforward now what's the title of this setting or attribute that the answer that the user will see well we'll just call it lower number or lower limit yeah let's get, go with that lower limit and now the description what do we want the user uh, the user to read once it goes to this little lower limit attribute so we'll just uh, say lowest number to be used when asking question when asking questions actually those number yes eh, that looks alright yeah sure and now which section does this attribute belong to and we're gonna go with the general cuz uh, yeah we only we only have one section for this cuz it's not really a big app we don't really need to do a lot of things and the key that this value should be associated with is lower num you see how simple that was it's pretty easy now the same thing we're gonna do for the next one so for each one we have to create a dictionary so for example this is, we just created the lower limit now we're gonna create the upper limit so type again is going to be a numeric the title is going oops title is going to be upper limit and the description will be highest number to be used when asking questions oh yeah and the section the same as the top one general actually I should have just copied and pasted it I have no idea why I didn't do that but uh, upper num you see that's how easy it is you see you guys just created two attributes two uh, settings that the user can change and modify within the app you see how simple that was and obviously if you want to add more you just add more dictionaries and all that good stuff alright so basically we're done with this file we can just go back to the other one to the previous one where we were at and now what we want is we're gonna import that uh, list of dictionaries from that file so we're gonna do from oops from json.settings import json.settings there we go and now once we have that we're gonna go all the way to the bottom of this file just like that bam and we're gonna create three new methods if I believe correctly so it's gonna be def.buildconfig obviously the method name says everything self.config 
and in this one we're gonna set the defaults defaults there we go and we're gonna set the defaults for the general section and we're gonna pass in the dictionary of all the defaults for the attributes so lower num the the default key value is gonna be 10 I mean 0 and upper num that's going to be 10 oops come on I can't type I can never type what is wrong with me 10 alright cool so that's basically it for this one you see how easy that was so this is in case the no initial configuration has been set this is what's gonna happen it's gonna call that one so dev.build so we're gonna create the next one settings self and then uh, settings Booyah. simple as that oops so settings dot add json panel and we're gonna call this settings kiwi math tutor just like that and it's gonna accept itself the self configuration and the data that we're going to be using is the json settings the list of dictionaries and there you go you just built the settings page right there you see how easy this stuff is it's not even hard so now def on config change so this is whenever this is called whenever the user changes the value in one of the settings so yeah so it's going to accept self the configuration itself the section from which the configuration was changed the key that associated with the change and then finally the new value that was given so let's go ahead and do that so for example if key equals a uh, upper num if the key that was changed is upper num what we're going to do is self dot root dot math screen max num we're going to change it to whatever it was put to so whenever the values are entered that the user enters in the settings it's going to be strings so that's why we need to call this little int to change the string into an actual number that way the math screen can use that to create new questions with that number and the same thing is going to happen with the uh, with the other key the lower the lower num key bam and I'm too lazy so let's just copy that and paste it on and do min num there you go that is so easy there you go you just create it right there so just the quick quick recap this builds the initial configuration if none has been set that's what it defaults to this adds the panel with all the settings that you want and this does all the configuration changes once the user actually changes a value in the settings so hopefully that makes sense one final thing that we should do is go all the way to the top and right here and do self dot uh, use kiwi settings equals false so this says a don't use any of the uh, of the of the kiwi settings so for example if you don't set any any um, custom settings kiwi already has its own settings already there so you can change the fps and all that and all of that stuff which the user doesn't really care about so just take it out so the user doesn't mess with that because you don't want them touching that because if they don't know what they're doing they can mess up the app and yada 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 whatever all right that should work now let's test this out and see if I'm actually right hopefully if not then oh well so see pi 3 main oh wait before anything let's look so you see you only see these guys the pi cache just ignore that oops you only see arithmetic JSON settings this is which is the one we created Kiwi Tutor, which is where the UI stuff is at, and then main PI, which is where the logic is at. So just remember remember those files. And then let's see, let's call this py3.main. Bam. Alright, so you see one through one through ten is the maximum, so that's why we get one and three. But what happens if we go to the settings? Oh look at that. Oh look at that. No section general. Oh look at that. I messed up. Why am I not surprised? I always mess up man this shouldn't even be a surprise and then let's go JSON settings general oh look at that I messed up right here general general, general. all right cool that should be cool let's see let's try again okay let's go to settings ah there we go you see guys so the lower limit is the title and then the description right here and see the default value 
So now if we click here and if we change it to 10, that is now the lowest number that we can possibly get. Now over here, let's change it to 100. So now that's the highest it can ever go. So you see, it only has one section. If we would have left the other one true, the use Kiwi settings, it would have had another se section right here that you can click on and change the Kiwi settings. But uh, you don't want that. Or maybe you do, huh? You know, I don't know what you guys want, whatever. Anyway, so now that we have that, let's close this and let's go to a random one, uh, whatever edition. Oh, look at that, you see? Now it can choose numbers between 10 and 100. So, ta-da, all of that. So let's go with two. Oh, the correct answer was this. So yeah, it works. So there you go. That was pretty straightforward, right? Uh, nothing too hard. Everything is pretty straightforward. All right, cool. If you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments. And you know, all that good stuff. Subscribe, like, or whatever. Alrighty then. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. All right, thank you.